Hey guys, John here. I'm going to give you a demo how I set up my rotary plow. Now, here's the components. Wheels out front. That's a depth gauge right here. It goes up and down. It tilts the angle of the rotary plow forward a little bit. That's where you want to have it. I'm telling you. Uh, start almost dead center in the middle and go down a little bit lower than that if you want it deeper. On the actual auger shaft here, I got it in the second to the top pin. That's a great spot, especially on uh, already broken ground. <clears throat> look, here's the third part here. There's the adjustment bar. You guys probably already know this, but look, I have it all the way in the bottom. You can see that there. Works pretty nice. Now, there's also another adjustment here on the side. Well, actually, it's side to side. You can see that's the bite. See how that's lined right up with that blade back there? Notice that. Look, that's important. That's the width of my cut. So you ride this wheel over here, and then you chew from here to here in your next cut, and everything throws to the other side. <clears throat> Enough talking. I'm going to see if I can't get it started. Show you guys a little bit of how this thing goes. But that's the adjustments for the Gravely Rotary Plow, and this is a hybrid machine I got. <clears throat> so let's see if I can get it started and, and roll. It's got the old push button start. that I only hit one rock in there so I'm getting down pretty good I got into a tree root here at the end but that's the gist so I got an irrigation system this past year anyway, I can't put the hood on because that adjuster thing over there knocks the hood off but that's the gravely rotary plow fantastic way to turn that soil over I'm putting a green rye crop on here and I'm gonna let the deer eat it I guess over the winter it'll be a nice biomass to to till in in the spring. Well, thanks. Appreciate you guys watching. Catch you later.